Good day, everyone, and welcome back to the HSFF audio blog. It is Thursday, 16th of November, 2023. I'm on the noontime MTB ride, as you know. I ride bikes and I read books. And just this morning, uh, I finished James S.A. Corey's Leviathan Wakes, the first book of the 10 book, The Expanse series. Uh, which started in 2011. So, this is a space opera on a smaller scale. On a smaller scale because it is uh, set in the inner solar system in, well, I guess, more or less near future. Uh, we have Earth at the, as the cradle of humanity. We have Mars, which has been colonized and is now independent and the belt the belt this uh, is referring to the asteroid belt which is i think between mars and jupiter and yeah on a smaller scale as well because um, there's only two main protagonists and uh, a ver variety of supporting characters so the two main characters, these are James Holden. He is um, the captain of a so-called water hauler, uh, meaning an kind of asteroid mining ship, um, which is gathering ice and tra transporting it uh, from the asteroid belt to Mars and Earth. And he also has a crew um, of uh, several characters. These are Naomi, uh, his uh, first in line officer, and um, Amos, it's uh, the, the ship's technician, and uh, Alex, who's the captain, the, the pilot, let's say, the pilot of the this ship or of more or less the several ships um, that they board in uh, in this first book. And then we have Joe Miller. He is um, the, a detective, private detective um, on Ceres, uh, which is a, a station in the belt and asteroid station and the first chapters of the book i mean it's, it's always changing there's a miller chapter and then there's a holden chapter yeah but it starts out um in this uh asteroid belt uh, station of series and we get to follow these two characters so what's the grander story about Holden and his crew, they follow a distress signal and, um, yeah, they, they f find a derelict ship and as soon as they find the ship, um, a, stealth, a stealth and shadow vessel appears and destroys the ship and also their ship and they barely survive, of course. Now they are on a quest for revenge. Miller, on the other hand, uh, gets drawn into the story as he gets a uh, contract to find Julie Mao, who is uh, this uh, yeah, moon-born young woman, and uh, she is sought by her parents, and she, yeah, she lived among the people of the belt, and she discovered something, yeah, something terrible, terrifying, let's say. Yeah, which um, is, no, I don't want to spoil anything here, but let's let's uh, say there's um, some body horror in it, heavy body horror, which I was uh, kind of surprised about. I was expecting more of a political, maybe military sci-fi novel. Yeah, but there's um, body horror. Uh, as Wikipedia says, it's an eldritch horror 
cosmic horror. It's based on the ideas of H.P. Lovecraft and this otherworldly, inexplicable threat that is, uh, yeah, endangering humanity. And all of this, uh, it becomes a um, political game too. So, uh, high stakes here. Uh, humanity's survival is on the stake. And, yeah, so what did I think about the book? How did I like the book? And maybe what did I not like so much about the book? So, honestly, um, as usual, I was um, always bit distracted and I listened to the audiobook um, I think it's yeah it's well narrated by Jefferson Mace is the narrator I listened to the English version of course and uh, yeah I had to f to make room to find time to listen to the book and to be honest um, I was maybe struggling a bit on the first 10 hours or so uh, but I can't really explain why. Uh, maybe it's because of the dialogue here. Well, this is a lot of, let's say, American slang. A lot of cool talk, which I found, yeah, in the beginning, kind of um, hard to get into. But uh, it's not like they, um, like in a Peter F. Hamilton novel, where they uh, constantly throw these invented technical terms uh, at your head so um, it, it was better to follow it after a while and yeah then um, the characters um, these are clearly explained and written and uh, set into scene so it's not really hard to follow the book but um, they were constantly changing places, uh, especially um, the Holden plotline, which of uh, made made it kind of hard to follow in the beginning. Um, who is where and where are they? What is is it an outpost, a station? Is are they on a planet? Um, then there's the different factions: Earth and Mars and the Belt, and uh, and there's this. Uh, evil company um, it was easy to um, confuse and mix it up um, but um, after 10 hours or so it really struck me um, because then also the big sci-fi ideas um, with this um, inexplicable mystery and Julie Mao this uh, plot line it took off and yeah, I found it uh, quite fascinating. And this is for me really uh, one of the most important points when reading science fiction, that uh, there's big and new ideas, uh, new ways to look at the universe and our existence. And uh, yeah, to an extent that is uh, prevalent here. So yeah, I overall then in uh, the second half of the book, I much more enjoyed it. And, yeah, as I hoped, I made the decision to follow the the rest of the books. Um, there's nine more books, makes it ten in total, and there's uh, several short stories. Um, I think they are set before and after the first novel, Leviathan Wakes, and uh, they, uh, there's a... There's a separate collection of these shorts. Uh, I think um, might get to get into this as well. But first, finish the main series. As I read on um, Reddit um, printsf that uh, uh, it stays a very good series and it has a um, satisfying ending. And this can't be said about every uh, every science fiction series. Yeah, so that's where I'm standing. I, a matter of fact, I already bought this morning um, the second book of uh, the Expanse cycle. It's Caliban's War. I am excited to delve into it uh, in the afternoon. So, yeah, that's it so far from me. 
If you made it to the end of the video, give me a thumbs up, or maybe even consider subscribing. Why not? Just another science fiction, horror, fantasy podcast. Why not? So, have a great day, and maybe until next time. Bye-bye.